Hello again, this is a tutorial on how to export your images and embed a CMYK profile in Illustrator. Now, Illustrator works a little differently from Photoshop since it doesn't use pixels. It actually uses vector shapes and vector paths just to make up areas that it can fill with color. So it gives us some leeway about how colors actually look. We're not so worried about how colors are going to change in Illustrator because they're really not. It's able to move around in color spaces way more easily than in Photoshop that is entirely pixel based. So what we want to do first is to make sure that our export profile is ready. And in order to do that, it's a little different from Photoshop. It doesn't let us change them so easily. So to set up that, we go to Edit and we go down to Color Settings. Now, a nice thing to do is to set up a color system for yourself, but for what we want right this minute, uh, the easiest way to get to the settings you want is to go click here. And I already set up something a long time ago, but I want you guys to click on North America General Purpose 2. And see, it sets up sRGB and US web coded SWOP V2. Now in the other video of Photoshop, this is the same profile we want. So this is the one we're gonna choose. So all this looks good. Don't ever worry about this stuff at the bottom. It's pretty good, just make sure that's clicked, but it should be. So we go, okay. Now, we're ready to export. So we go File, Export. And I'm gonna just do it to my desktop. We wanna use a good, strong file and one that lets us embed a profile. So uh, what we want to use is either a PSD, Photoshop file, or a TIFF. Um, to either one's fine, but I'll just go with a TIFF. Uh, you want to use artboard just because it keeps your nice bounding box here. If you have anything out here, it crops it off and you only have what's on the inside of your black lines. If you don't have these black lines on the outside of your artwork, um, I'll cover that real quick just at the end of this video. So we're going to go export. And here we go. Up here, we don't want color model to be RGB. We actually want CMYK. Now the nice thing is, here it appears down here, US web coded SWOP. We actually want to embed that profile just like what we did in Photoshop. Now another thing to take a look at is resolution. We want high which would be 300. Now, unlike Photoshop where everything is made up of pixels, since it's vector, we can choose any number we want. I could have 9,000 pixels per inch, or dots per inch, really, but it's actually pixels per inch. So, what we want is we want something high enough to print really well. So 300 is a pretty good one. That's going to give you some nice, nice edge sharpness. So, art optimized or super sampling is a way that Illustrator makes converts vector paths to pixel imagery. It's kind of complicated, so we won't get into that, but Art Optimize is usually pretty good for everybody, but if you have a lot of text or after you do this once with Art Optimize, you realize, you know, my text is just a little too fuzzy, it's too hard to read for me. You can easily go to Type Optimized and that helps with type. Either one's fine. I like our optimized. I've never had a really problem with it. So we just go OK. Oh, I made one by accident. Uh, but we'll just replace that. So it's gonna, and my TIFF is done. It's going to have that profile embedded in it. And you never have to worry about converting anything or looking at anything like in Photoshop. Now before I mentioned that you need to have your artwork on the inside of this black box well, outlined box. So if your art is on the inside of it, we need to take a look at your artboards and change their size. It's really easy. We can just go File, Document Setup, Edit Artboards, and simply drag around. So I can make them smaller or bigger as I want. So, and there we go. And you can just click this tool here 
and there's our new artboard. So that's about it in Illustrator. It's a lot more simple than Photoshop in a lot of respects, but it's also a little challenging in its own way. So thank you again, and again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me or send me a message. Thank you. Have a good one.